So how do I take this and make it look like this? Well, let's get the answers here and here's my girl. If you hear any sniffling or creaking or anything <coughs> in the background, I don't know how to explain it, so just go with it. But we did get some test footage of her to show the difference between these aspect ratios. So if you guys do want to see that, stick around towards more at the end of this video. But anyways, guys, let's actually get into it. <laughs> So to start this off, you just want to film your clips like you always would. You don't have to change any settings or anything differently there, but what you're going to want to change is in Premiere Pro or whatever software you edit on, this is going to cover Premiere Pro, but you're going to want to go to Sequence, then Sequence Settings. Once you get there, then you'll see the frame size options. So these are the options that you're going to want to change to actually affect this aspect ratio. What you're most likely seeing right now is 1920 by 1080 or 3840 by 2160, but we're after that widescreen look. So how we're going to get that is we're going to change it to 3440 by 1440. That is going to give you that super wide cinematic type look. I use that for all my dedicated B-roll videos or just anything that took me longer, anything a little bit more high production. I use the super wide, the 21 by 9. It just adds a little bit of extra to your video. Now for my regular YouTube videos, I use something a little bit different, but it's still not the regular 4K. For my regular YouTube videos, I use 3840 by 1920. So it's kind of right in the middle. It's wide, but not too wide but it's just wider than the regular 16 by nine. So it's just a little bit different than what you see with everybody's YouTube video. So what is even the point of doing this? Why would I even go through this extra step? Is it really that big of a deal? Well, yeah, it kind of is because it's actually proven to give you a more cinematic look whenever you have more of a 21 by nine aspect ratio. That's because everything looks a little bit bigger, better, just in the image, it just all feels a little bit more immersive. And plus, I mean, it's what you see at the movies too. So whenever you're watching a movie at the movie theater, which nobody does anymore. It's kind of sad, but if you were doing that, that's more of what you would see. You wouldn't see a 16 by nine necessarily. You would want to see more of a widescreen look. Oh, and also with an ultra wide monitor, like what I have, it's going to take up the whole screen instead of leaving those black bars that the 16 by nine gives you. It kind of gives you these like bars on the sides and it just doesn't look as good. I don't know. It's just kind of a turn off whenever I could have a whole screen taken up. Yes, I do realize this is not as good as shooting with an anamorphic lens or something like that, but it is the step under that. It kind of gives you the same feel, but without the flares and the actual D squeeze and all that. But it's the closest thing that you're going to get if you don't feel like investing into anamorphic lenses. Oh, and it's much better than putting black bars over a 16 by 9 video. Please do not do this unless you're doing some type of vlog that just needs a quick little cinematic shot like that. If you're going to do that, then sure, I guess you could, but I just, mm, I, I can't. Actually, if you degrade the quality to like 144p, those black bars start to look the same. Like they also look low quality. This is just a much better alternative to actually crop in and get your resolution of your video to be correct. And I do actually believe that people noticed this because I do get a lot of questions about it. Just how is your video so widescreen? You know, what are you doing to this? Are you shooting it differently? Are you using an anamorphic lens? I'm no, it's just a step in Premiere Pro that takes about 10 seconds. It's all it is. But just so you guys can have a bit of a comparison and judge for yourself, because maybe you don't want to take my opinion worth everything. That's all right. Judge for yourself. See what you think. I'm going to play two sequences, the exact same ones, but one with 16 by nine and one 21 by nine. So literally the same thing. But here you go. Just back to back. gives your videos a way to stand out 
pop a little bit more, be more immersive, and it just looks a little bit better, more professional. Totally an option. You don't have to do it, but it's just so simple and it just enhances your videos. And like I said, you can also use that other one for just your YouTube videos. You don't always have to use that big, super widescreen. There's kind of that happy medium one too. And I actually really like it. Anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you out a little bit. If it did, be sure to let me know in the comment section below and subscribe, show your support, do whatever you want. And I really do appreciate you guys. We are actually getting pretty close to 1K now and it's pretty insane. So all I can say is thank you guys so much. Peace still over here on her phone just chilling just big chilling you want to say anything to them bye guys love you there you go <laughs> peace let's not do that the whole video let's not do that the whole video guys why am i even trying to record and why is my mic slanted why is my monitor on okay well reshoot so how do I take this and make it look like this? More widescreen. Well, stick around for the answers. Answers? <laughs> answers. Let's get some answers, bro. And why is that there? What am I doing? <laughs> no wonder it looked off. Oh my God, I have so many bloopers already. <laughs> but you're gonna wanna go to sequence, then sequence settings. Once you get there, you're gonna find, what are you gonna find? I have to, I have to remember what it's called. 